Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel Movie Snips. Today we're going to be discussing the off-world colonies mentioned in Philip K. Dick's novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep as well as, the, as, well as in the original Blade Runner movie and also in Blade Runner 2049. So for, for those of you who aren't already familiar with the setting of the original Blade Runner movie, the film is set in a post-apocalyptic dystopian Los Angeles of 2019 in which uh, synthetic humans known as replicants are bioengineered by the powerful Tyrell Corporation to work in off-world space colonies. So when a fugitive group of advanced replicants led by Roy Batty, uh, played by Rucker Hauer, escapes back to Earth, uh, burnout cop Rick Deckard Harrison Ford uh, reluctant, reluctantly agrees to hunt them down. So that's the that's the plot of this of Blade Runner. Uh, so I want I want I want to elaborate on the off world colonies uh, since we only get a very brief mention of them in the book and in the movies. Uh, so Blade Runner is set in a fictional universe in which the Earth has largely been rendered inhospitable uh, slash uninhabitable in many regards, largely due to World War terminus. So World War Terminus is mentioned in the novel, but it's, it's not really touched upon in the movies. Uh, the Blade Runner video game of 1997 does mention a third Terran war, presumably World War III. So as a result of this ecological collapse and the large scale die off of uh, terrestrial and marine life on Earth uh, due, to the, uh, t t due, to, due to World War Terminus, uh, humanity is forced to look to the stars for interstellar colonization. Um, so in the, in the novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, uh, the off-world colonies are mentioned, but only Mars is cited as an example, a planet that exists in our very own solar system. We don't really get in any insight into any of the uh, extrasolar planets beyond our solar system that may have been colonized. Uh, on the other hand, the Blade Runner movies make it clearly evident that distant interstellar planets have been colonized. Uh, for instance, in the original Blade Runner movie, it stated that the six fugitive re replicants led by Roy Batty uh, created an insurrection on Dominguez, killing 23 people before com commandeering a shuttle and escaping to Earth. So we don't know exactly where Dominguez is in relation to Earth, but it's definitely not a, not a planet within our own solar system. And furthermore, towards the end of the original movie, we hear replicant Roy Batty talk about space battles near the Tannhauser Gate and the shoulder of Orion, giving further credence to the possibility of extrasolar travel. So the, the Tannhauser, Tannhauser Gate is presumably some kind of a jump gate wormhole to uh, un, unidentifiable for, uh, uh, far reaches of space. Um, we're not really... It's not really discussed in detail. So in the sequel, Blade Runner 2049, we hear about a planet called Kalantha when LAPD Blade Runner K, played by Ryan Gosling, questions uh, replicant uh, Nexus 8 uh, replicant Sapper Morden inside his home. So upon noticing Sapper's utility bag, K mentions that such bags were military issue only given to Nexus 8 combat models in war zones uh, such as Kalantha. So Kay added that Kalantha must have been brutal. Um, so Kay realized that uh, Sapper was a, was a, Sapper Morton was a replicant. Um, and so there is, there is strong evidence to suggest that in the 1999 sci-fi sci action movie Soldier starring Kurt Russell, uh, that this movie is actually a sidequel to the Blade Runner series. Uh, the two the two franchises probably uh, coexist in the same fictional universe. So by extension, we may be able to add the uh, waste disposal planet of Arcadia 234, as well as the Trinity moons as possible sites of interstellar human settlements. So there's also ample evidence to suggest that the Alien franchise is also set in the same universe as the Blade Runner uh, franchise. I'll, uh, I'll be at, uh, about a century into the future, uh, about a century after the events of the original Blade Runner movie. So it's not revealed to the audience as to how humanity travels to these far-flung far colonies, but there is some evidence to suggest that some method of uh, faster-than-light travel exists in the Blade Runner universe, but this is a separate topic for a separate video. And we're not really given a detailed insight into um, society and life uh, in the off-world colonies either. 
in the original Blade Runner movie, there are plenty of uh, plenty of electronic billboards and other forms of advert as advertisement encouraging humans to settle off world. But this is promoted and this is pr promoted aggressively with advertising from the Shimago Dominguez Corporation extolling the adventure and opportunities awaiting humans if they left Earth, as well as uh, promises of financial and personal incentives. For example, all colonists were promised a free replicant for their personal use. So in many cases, replicants were effectively used as slave labor in the colonies, and the Planetary Development Organization continu continued such advertisements as late as 2032. However, there is some evidence to suggest that life wasn't quite as rosy as the adver advertisements claimed. Uh, the replicants were designed to survive dangerous working conditions and harsh environments, and Royce was uh, designed specifically for use as a soldier. Uh, and he recalled the uh, he, he uh, recalling the battles he fought off world, and it appears that Leon and Zora also had extensive combat training too. So Zora was described as having been a member of um, a kick murder squ squad assigned to infiltration and assassination missions. So finally, there is the uh, intensity of the marketing campaign itself. Although the Los Angeles of 2019 is a miserable dy dystopia, its, po its, its population still apparently requires aggressive promotion and considerable financial incentives to leave Earth for these supposed paradises. Um, so uh, that's about it for today. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and listening to my video today. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please check out my channel for more lore videos.